hello friend so today we'll see uh, what is meaning of arp and how does it work so basically arp is a networking term and that is known as a address resolution protocol so as the name itself suggests address resolution protocol is a protocol which will be used in the resolution of the networking devices address so most of the computer programs or applications those would be using logical address uh, that is ip address to send or receive the messages however in the actual communication the address which will be used will be a physical address that is a mac address so mac address uh, is the basically layer 2 address uh, in the osi module so what we want to do is we would want to get the destination mac address which will help us in communicating with the other devices now for getting the mac address we will be using ARP which is the address resolution protocol and its functionality is to translate IP address into physical address. Now as we have already seen acronym ARP will stands for the address resolution protocol which is one of the most important protocols of the network layer in the OSI model. Now what ARP does is ARP will be finding the hardware address which is also known as a media access control or MAC address from a host and it will be knowing the IP address however it won't know the MAC address and for finding the MAC address the protocol which will be used will be the ARP now ARP is a basically network layer to data link layer mapping process which is used to discover MAC address for the given IP protocol address so in order to send the data to destination having IP address is necessary however it is not sufficient we would also need to have the physical address of the destination machine so basically if i want to send data to some other device from my device then only knowing the ip address will not be helpful i would also need to know the mac address now all these processes are automated so we do not need to do anything manually as part of the network functionality everything is taken care however just to understand from the networking perspective we'll see further related to arp now when a source device needs to connect with another device the source device will be checking its address resolution protocol store to find the mac address of the destination device so basically there will be a certain table which is known as the arp table and here mapping of the mac address to the ip address will be stored now purpose of arp here is to search for the mac address when the mac address is available and is transferred the transfer of packet information will be taking place at that time when the mac address of the destination device is not present the source device will be broadcasting arp request to all the network devices present in the lan each device in turn will compare the target protocol address that is the ip before address of the destination device with its own protocol address if any of the device finds a match to their ip before address to the targeted address it will generate a reply message to the source the device then will be using the sender's IP address and hardware address from the request message. It will process it. It will use the value to the targeted IP address and hardware address to reply a message. So basically, whenever ARP broadcast is sent, right, a query will be kind a kind of a send that who what is the IP address uh, which belongs to so and so mac address so the destination device which is having a matching ip address will get to know okay there is a query for knowing my mac address so it will reply its own mac address to that ip and it will use mac address of the sender also now any kind of device if it finds a match to its ip for address to the targeted address then it will be sending the reply so let's see how it sends so destination device will be updating its arp cache and it will send a unicast message reply to the source device now what is unicast message unicast message means one-to-one -one communication so when a certain device sends to data to a targeted device that is one-to-one -one message that is a unicast message when a message sent to multiple others that is a multicast message now a source device on receiving a reply it will process the reply and it will save the destination's hardware address in the layer 2 
address storage. Now source device then will update sender's device hardware address and protocol address received in the reply in the ARP cache. Now this is the process which will be used to send the packets to the known devices destination MAC address and using this process the devices will be finding out the MAC address of the desired devices. Now let's see why ARP is needed. So devices in the local area network or LAN communicate with the MAC address and not the IP address and the devices are not configured to allow destination devices within the same network to connect with the IP address. So any device will not have an IP address where it is not connected to the internet. So as we know if we want to go to the internet we will need a IP address. So in such cases where the device is sitting in the LAN we would need to have the MAC address for communication. Now any system when needs to communicate with any other device in the same network it has to know the MAC address of the destination device. So if the source device knows the MAC address of the destination device the communication between them will be unicast. And so the purpose and need of the ARP is to get the MAC address of the destination device. Now any new computer when it joins to the local AI network it will require a unique IP address to use for identification and communication. Now when a packet of data arrives at a network, network gateway destined for a particular host machine the gateway or the piece of hardware on a network It will allow data to flow from one network to another. It will ask the ARP program to find a MAC address that matches the IP address. Now the ARP cache will be keeping a list of each IP address and its matching MAC address. The ARP cache is a dynamic but users also can update a static ARP table containing IP addresses and MAC addresses. ARP cache are kept on all operating systems in a IPv4 Ethernet network. Every time a device requests a MAC address to send data to another device connected to the LAN, the device verifies its ARP cache to see if the IP to MAC address connection has already been completed. And if that connection is already completed, then the data will be present in the table. Now in such cases, a new request is unnecessary. However, if the translation has not yet been carried out, then the request for network address will be sent and address resolution protocol will be used for it. Now ARP cache size is limited by a design, so addresses will be staying in the cache for only few minutes. So it is continuously purged to free up the space. This design is also intended for privacy and security to prevent IP addresses from being stolen or spoofed by cyber attackers. Now while MAC addresses are fixed, IP addresses could be continuously updating. Now in the purging process, unutilized addresses will be deleted. So any data related to unsuccessful attempts to communicate with the computers not connected to the network or that are not even powered on. So that will be it kind of older data. So that data will be deleted and the table will be completely refreshed every time. So this was the basic idea about the address resolution protocol. It's very important because a uh, final communication will always be happening using a MAC address, right? So it is necessary to have these kind of protocols in the network. So this was the basic info about ARP. I'll be preparing some further videos. So if you like my videos, please subscribe. Thank you.